Hello chocolate and it's never in between chocolate and here for another video review this time of the Cadbury's Dairy Milk Jingly Bells Chocolate Noisette You can see that in the shine <laughs> Yeah, it's especially one of Cadbury's uh, Christmas range I think it's new to this year, I've not seen it before anyway um, Just seems to be little mini, mini eggs or mini balls I guess Mini balls, Jingly Bells I guess <laughs> um, Filled with this sort of creamy um, Noisette filling I guess Now there is another one, now, now basically Noisette fillers you don't know It's basically a sort of hazelnut cream um, well, hazelnut paste, it says here. The reason I differentiate is because we also have the Jingly Bells hazelnut cream version. So I don't know what, you know, it, it, seemed, it must be very similar. I don't know what the difference is, but I think the hazelnut cream is probably very similar to, um, what's it called? Kinder, basically, you know, um, either Kinder Bueno or something like that, I, I imagine. But um, I'm not sure. They're both very much on much anyway, I think. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what the difference is. So. And review one after the other, and then in the other review I'll probably compare them both or something like that, or at least discuss that, so uh, yeah. Mm. Alright, so before I continue, I've got, I've done, I've done lots of reading, about 680 I think now at time recording, so uh, in this corner here there'll be a playlist to all my um, reviews, so go check that out uh, after you've liked this video and subscribed to my channel of course. <laughs> you always say that, but you know, please do, it'd be great. Um, and if you're in a position to do so, I've got a YouTube uh, member program going on, and a Patreon as well. The member program will give you access to uh, exclusive videos from the channel, um, so please check that out, it would, it would help me out, but you get something back. Um, at least four videos a month, if not more. Um, and I think at time recording, there must be about at least eight to ten videos in there. Been doing it for about a couple of months now, so you know. And it's, I've got three or four in the pipeline, three already edited, ready to go. Um, you know, so it's definitely being updated. It's not you know a con or anything like that. Please check it out. You'd, you'd help me out immensely, um, and it'd be hugely appreciated. <laughs> but leave a comment free as well. It's always appreciated. Also, it really is, and um, anything you can it really helps out the channel. So thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, so what's the review? So yeah, um, yes. Yeah, so what does it say? What does it say? Well, it says milk chocolates with a milk chocolate and hazelnut filling, fifty-two percent. And the other one says milk chocolates with a hazelnut cream filling, fifty-two percent. Okay, so this one's probably just got more chocolate in the middle, I guess. So what have we got? So calories per two pieces, ninety calories, five point four grams of fat, two point seven of which are saturates. And we've got the other one. It's ninety-three calories, a bit more, six grams of fat, two point nine of which are saturates. So. Yeah, so three calories more per two pieces, 0.6 grams of fat more, and 0.2 of which are saturates more. Okay, interesting. So we've got a bit of what's on the back there. But so I think for all intents and purposes, they look exactly the same as these ones. Could even be the same picture, really, other than the fact that one's green. You can see that there. But yeah, <laughs> yeah interesting. Okay, yeah. No, no, so it looks nice. It's got a very glossy uh, bag. You see how it's shining on the, the wrapper. I suppose this sort of milker, you know, matte look. You can see the difference in the, the shininess. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. We're in a sandily placed Cadbury's Wisp. I think that's not quite as shiny. Oh, it's quite a bit shiny. That. Okay. Anyway, there we go. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's quite interesting, but uh, it's got fair trade on it. Partly with fair trade. Cocolife.org. Make it saying other nuts wheat. Here's nuts in it, of course. Um, it's all, it's, yeah, it looks quite nice. They're all individually wrapped. So I feel lots of weird scrunchiness in it. I think they're sort of wrapped with a twizzle on it, perhaps. You can hear that scrunchiness going on. Hmm, so, how, what's the weight? It's an 82 gram bag. It gives you per 100 grams as well. So yeah, I didn't give that. So, 547 five, calories. 33 grams of fat, 17 of which are saturates per 100 grams. It's got the Queen Approved symbol as well. And you can see that. The Queen Approves. Alright, well, I don't think there's much more to say, yeah, other than it's suitable for vegetarians, so um, yeah, we should give it an open. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, once we give these uh, Dairy Milk Jingly Bells chocolate noisettes an open, so it's got a nice handy uh, peel thing here. Let's see how many is in this thing. There we go, there it is. Let's see. Okay, hmm, how many have we got? Ten, ten of them in here. Yeah, okay, well, it smells nice smell coming from them, actually. Hmm, yeah, it does smell very nice as you uh, open them. Hmm, well, as you open the packet. Possibly five portions per bag per two pieces. Well, yeah, that is right, so there's uh, ten in there. Hmm, okay, so per two of these is your 90 calories, 4.5 grams of fat, 2.7 of which is natural. It's not too bad. 9, 18, 20, 30, 45. So it's 450 calories in the whole thing, basically. Yeah, all right, yeah, okay. So you can see there's lots of uh, wrapper on here. So I mean, you know, the balls themselves are quite small. So really, you know, it's, the amount of stuff that's going to fit in this bag is going to be a lot less than that. 
just pad it out with air and uh, the fact that the packaging inside keeps spaces them apart but uh, really it probably all fit very much at the bottom of this okay so let's uh, give one an open okay very uh, looks a bit like a lindor doesn't it really i hmm, wonder if the hmm i wonder if they are a bit similar to lindors you know okay let's measure the uh damage it's a bit smaller i think but uh, let's see what's the diameter it doesn't look very tight either it's about about two and a half, two point four, two and a half centimeters, I think. Because you know, it's, I thought it's lots of pop marks and stuff. But actually, it's stars. So I don't know if you can make those out, but they're actually purposeful star designs on there. It doesn't really work. <laughs> I don't think. Also, on on time, when you look closely, you see they're actually stars. I don't know if you can make that out. I'm trying to wear, uh, yeah. Look at this. Hmm. That's quite interesting. But I don't know. If it, at a glance, it looks very much like it's just um, damage, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, let's cut one in half. It cuts very easily. There you go. So it's a very, uh, it's a very nice uniform filling. Obviously, I've cut down the seam, so these are two halves, actually. It's not cut perfectly like that. So you see there's a bit of a gap where the two fillings have been put together and not quite reached the top. Yeah. Mm. Okay. The thickness of the chocolate itself. It's about uh, about two millimeters, yeah. And the down touch on Wazet is about two centimeters. So there we go, yeah. Hmm, not bad. All right, well, I don't think there's much more to say. Really, quite a nice star design on there. As I say, it's quite interesting. You know, you don't really notice it at first. It's sort of like marks and things. But once you've noticed it, not too bad. All right, well, I don't think there's much more to say really. I think let's just uh, give them a taste. Let's do it. <laughs> Look, okay, once again, these Cadbury's Dairy Milk Jingly Bells chocolate was it? <laughs> Quite a long-winded name. A taste. So, um, yeah. Well, for the fresh one. We need these uh, little wrappers here. They look crazy. These wrappers look okay. They look a bit pumpkin like that, I think you'd say. But uh, they have all these stars on them. Hmm. All right. Let's, uh, let's give it a taste. <laughs> let's do it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wow. That's not what I was expecting. Hmm. Hmm. I expect it to be very soft. Um, it is soft, <laughs> but very soft. There's a bit of resistance there. It's a bit, um, like as I bit into it, it kind of slowly, the resistance grew more and more as I bit into it. I still bit into it very easy. It didn't stop me or anything, but it was, it has a very almost, an almost chew. Hmm. It's more like um cabbage fudge consistency. Maybe slightly softer, but yeah, interesting. Hmm. It's not what I was expecting. It's a nice surprise, actually. Hmm. Well, I think that's going to be a difference. This one's going to be like this sort of a bit more solid centre than these other ones. Um, hmm. Here's not cream. I think that's going to be very soft centre. And this one, yeah, it's not bad actually. I quite like these. There's a slight hazelnut taste there. I can't taste much of a Cadbury chocolate taste, dairy milk or anything, but I think it is dairy milk, you know, it has that sort of, it does have a bit of a taste actually, but it's not distinct. Hmm. You see, I was able to bite it on the seam there, and we got a perfect half. So they clearly are sort of stuck together, you know, with it. Well, that's been filled first, and then the other half. So it's, it's, it's a clean break, isn't it? So, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, these are quite nice, you know. Hmm. I mean, the consistency in the middle is um, is nice. Hmm. There's a slight hazelnut taste, but not massive, to be honest with you. It's not. Hmm. I don't think you'd be too. If you're not a fan of nuts and things, and just don't like the taste. And this one, I don't think would put you off. Hmm. Actually, quite like these. These are very nice, very different. As I say, the cabbage fudge is a bit boring, but this one, it's just a bit more chocolatey, of course. It's not quite cabbage fudge, but it has that. Almost that consistency, but it just tastes a bit more exciting. Hmm. And chocolatey. Hmm. With a, with a, a, a subtle hazelnut taste, aftertaste, or, well, taste. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I like these a lot. Very different. Um, not quite like. Not quite like anything else I've really tasted, you know, um, they really tasted. Hmm. 
They're very Moorish, they're very nice. They're not, um, it's not like soft, sickly taste like Lindor's or anything. It's completely different. It's just a very... So when you bite into it, it's a very... Um, it's like compresses itself as you bite through it and you get a bit more resistance. And it's just an interesting texture. I actually quite like it. And uh, here's what tastes is, is there, but it's not massively prevalent. But the ch it's very chocolatey on the inside. And the chocolate is dairy milk on the outside. And I was saying I couldn't really taste it, but you can. You know, you can. I think I was just being a bit unfair there. You can taste it. And it's nice. It's just catching your photos a bit after a while, the, the sensor. Um, but I've had four of them. I, I really like these. I think these are really good. I think, hmm. Um, I don't know if they're enough for a 5 out of 5, but... Yeah, I'm going to give them 4.5 out of 5. They're nearly there to 5. I mean, they're so... They are really nice. They're very... I, I, I'm surprised at these. I thought they'd be a very cheap, rubbish product. Um, you know, and they're not. They're pretty nice, actually. They're pretty good. Yeah, I, I think I quite I, I quite like them. I like, the design's quite good on them. They've got the star design. You can see on the, it is on the wrapper as well. But I think it's a bit... It's a bit... It doesn't really quite work as such, if you know what I mean. It's a... Uh, I don't know why it's there either, really, because it's not really... Mm, I don't know. It doesn't seem to sort of be on the packet. I don't know why it's got these star things on there. It's got sort of, like, you know, musical notes and things on there. Um, I don't know why there's stars on it. I don't really know why it's called Jingly Bells. Um, you know, they're not bell-shaped or anything like that. I don't, well, I don't know they're trying to be. Maybe that's what it is. In fact, if you look at the front, they do have, sort of like... They do look a bit more like sort of bell designs on them and things. Um... But, you know, it, when it comes to the actual thing itself, you know, they're not really bells at all. And they don't really look like it's here. Yeah, not, not really bell-shaped. So just, I don't know. It's a strange branding, really. But nonetheless, um, yeah, and I said the stars on the actual thing as well, they look a bit funny, you know. And I think they, does it, it doesn't even have the bell on one side. It just has stars all over it. So it doesn't even have the bell design from the front of the wrapper. Um, yeah. So the bottom half of this design is sort of like the bell sort of design, or the opening of the bell. But on the wrapper, it's just all star. On the actual chocolate, it's just all stars. So I don't quite get that. It seems a bit, um, a bit of an odd one. But uh, anyway, that's just the aesthetic. But the taste itself, yeah, four out, of, four and a half out of five. I, I'm very happy with it. Um, but it's really nice. That texture is it's a very distinct and unique texture, even though it tastes a bit like fudge. Um, it's 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 different again, really. And it, as I said, the way it compresses in your mouth as you bite the whole thing. The way it's very chocolatey, with only a subtle hazelnut taste. It's not a massive hazelnut taste, so it's um, you know you, you won't be perturbed. Don't be perturbed for that. You know if you're not a fan of nut, hazelnuts or whatever. Um, hmm. Because I'm not really a hazelnut person, or, or a nut person really. So yeah, very very impressed. Yeah, four and a half out of five. Definitely recommend these ones. We're tasting the other ones now. See what they're like. Um, I think they'll be a bit more typical maybe, but you know we'll see. Could still be nice and uh, yeah a bit different. So I'm surprised by these. Could be surprised by them. <laughs> Okay, I hope you enjoyed that review. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon if you can, and uh, of course the YouTube member program. It'd be great if you could support me there, it really would. But either way, leave a comment or free. Always great to hear from you, it truly is. And um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye for now. See you later. Bye. <laughs>